So, Tom, to see this black and white movie from a master like David Fincher, one of my all time favorite directors, be a part of that. What did you personally learn from that journey? Oh, I learned personally that I always want to work with David Fincher. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, truly, though, listen, there's a re there's a reason, right? That that he's he's one of your favorites and one of my favorites, and he's one of the master storytellers of our time. And it is a different experience when you get to work with someone like that. Like the levels of the levels of his understanding, the levels of his intelligence, and his his focus on details without ever losing sight of the the wider picture. I mean, it's almost it's almost supernatural how much he can keep in his brain at one time. I mean, it really is. But then the benefit of that as an actor is I've never felt so safe. I've never felt so much in the hands of someone extremely capable. And what that does for me is that allows me to just 100% be the actor, which is something that you don't always get to do. You know, like you could truly put your head down, focus only on what you're supposed to be doing and understand that the rest is taken care of and you're gonna be safe. So yeah, I mean, what I learned is just all the ways I want to always work with David Fincher. <laughs> yes, very good. No, but also, you know, it's so fascinating because I never forget these pictures I saw also, you know, and the characters because, okay, black and white is something we are not so used to. And what do you think is the fascination with old black and white Hollywood movies? Or what is your fascination with it? Yeah, well, I mean, one of the things that's really different about those movies back then, right, is the, is the dialogue. You know, like these, these, these films back then, so much of them are, the camera's not moving very much. And so you have two actors with this dialogue that because of the fact that we're not doing a bunch of cuts or edits and because of the fact we don't have special effects or a camera moving all over the place that we're really focusing on the dialogue and so you almost have like a different a sort of heightened style of acting with these actors back then to serve the purpose or to answer the problems of the technology or whatever the restraints that they had at that time and ultimately to me now I find it very comforting and very um engaging yeah. to listen to because it's like it's a way of talking and almost a way of like thinking faster than we give ourselves permission to do now uh so yeah i, I think there's something very um uh just comforting about it to me yeah you know i wasn't aware i mean citizen kane is till today a lot of people say it's one of the best movies of all time ever made right i wasn't really aware of the whole background story were you aware of that or did you, uh, while reading the script and working on the movie, get more and more aware of what's going on? No, I was not aware of all the background story of Citizen Kane. That was definitely something I realized when I read the script and then sort of went down the internet rabbit hole on my own. Like, wow, <laughs> yes. I had no idea that the, the film was sort of so kind of dangerous at the time in, in, in a way and, and, and almost didn't make it. You know, um, that was cool. Yeah. And also um, working with Gary Oldman, you as a, I say, young actor from your, your, your young actor, what do you still learn from the older actors and what can you take home? Are you open for all of that? Yes. Yes. So Gary Oldman's been an actor who I have adored and admired since I was young. Um, and getting to work with him, like, what's the most, the best thing I can say is that, I mean, in a way that's almost different from anyone I've ever worked with is that Gary is, once he's working, he is so um, dangerous in a sense, like he is so, you really, you, it really causes you as his partner to be fully present, because I just don't know what he's going to do. I just don't know where he's going to go or when he's going to go. But there's something so alive inside of him, you know. And as a person, he's so gentle and sweet and soft-spoken and telling jokes and wonderful. And then all of a sudden you get on set and there's just like this thing in his eyes where you're like, oh, it's on. Like, here we go. Focus, you know. And, and that's, that, 
for sure the kind of actor I want to be, you know? So it's really great to get to work with someone like him and see not only how he has that thing in him, but how he can turn it on and off. So you can bring the best out of each other when you play, like, it's like a good tennis match, right? Oh, absolutely. You, you, the only thing, the best thing you could hope for is have a great actor to work with. They make you better. Yeah. I mean, if you're listening, then they're going to make you better. Like it is, it is, it's almost like cheating. You know, you work with Lord, <laughs> you work with Gary Oldman. It's like, yeah, I, I'm a better actor now because the person <laughs> right who's hitting the ball back to me makes me look good. <laughs> you did a really good job. Thank you so much, Tom. We oh. have to wrap up. Hope to see you soon again. And happy holidays already. Happy holidays to you too. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for the talk.